Welcome back. These are grammar lessons for year three and four children and this is week nine, lesson three. Our learning objective for this week is to plan an information report. So by the end of the lesson, hopefully you will be able to recall the features of an information report. You will have also researched some facts about a topic, writing them down as notes and you will have even used a spidergram to help you to organise your research. Before we go any further, let's just revise what we looked at on Monday. Uh, let's go through some of the knowledge we learnt. Non-chronological order means not arranged in time order. Most information or non-fiction texts are not arranged in time order, but by topic. For example, a book about the body might be organised into chapters about muscles, the skeleton, organs, etc. And we had a look at several non-chronological texts to help you to understand that better. An information report is a non-chronological text. It aims to give us, give us information on a topic they are useful for studying things we don't know a lot about and they don't have to be read in any particular order. You might want to pick out a little piece of information from one chapter and not read the rest of the book or you might want to read it all if it's something you're particularly interested in. The key features of an information report are as follows and hopefully you can remember these. If you want to test yourself, you could pause the video now, see if you can remember what's going to come up on the slide and then start the video again and we'll see if you've remembered them all. Firstly, there will be headings and subheadings, pictures and diagrams, it will be written in the third person present tense. They will be organised into paragraphs. They will include detailed and factual information. And in an information book, you will find a contents page, an index and a glossary. I wonder if you managed to remember them all. Well done if you did. So let's see if we can find those features in this text. You've had a go at this over the last couple of days, so hopefully you'll be an expert. This text is all about spiders. Let's take a minute to read it. And whilst you're reading it, you should be looking for some of those features. Spiders are the world's most common land carnivore. That means to eat meat. There are about 40,000 different types of spiders and they live in nearly every part of the world. All spiders have a pair of fangs. These fangs release venom, which is another word for poison. Do all spiders make webs? Not all spiders make webs, but they all make silk. Many hunt on the ground like the jumping spiders and some even build trapdoors underground so they can hide and wait for their prey, food. Are black widows dangerous? There are over 30 types of widow spiders, including the redback in Australia. Both black widow and redback widow are mainly black with a red tummy to warn off predators. A predator is any animal that might want to eat them. Fun facts. Not all spiders have eight eyes. Some only have six. Tarantulas are the largest spiders. Some jumping spiders can jump 30 times their own body length. And there are some pictures there with some captions. I wonder if you've already managed to spot some of the features on our list. Let's have a look in detail. So first of all, we have headings and subheadings made really clear for us. They're bold, underlined and they stand out so we know what information is in the text. There are pictures with captions and as we said on Monday, these pictures, if they can be photographs, will be photographs. It's written in the third person. We have pronouns they and nouns spiders and it's written in the present tense. Live, have, waiting to jump, 
make are all present tense verbs. It's organised into paragraphs and similar information is grouped together. It's detailed, it's factual and I've highlighted there some tier 2 and tier 3 vocabulary. So all the features that we talked about earlier are present in this short report. I hope you found them all when we read it the first time. Your task this lesson is going to be to write a page for one of these information books. If you have a little look here I've given you the front covers of four information books. One about dangerous animals, one about the weather, one about under the sea and one about the solar system. I'd like you to spend a little bit of time now choosing which of these you are going to research. You can't do them all, you just need to choose one. When you've chosen which information book you are going to write a page for, you will need to complete some research and I'd like you to present your notes in the form of a spidergram, remembering to group similar information that you research together. Here's an example of a spidergram. So once you've chosen the theme that you're going to research, you will choose some topics within that theme that you'd like to find out a little bit more about and you'll write down your ideas. And as you go, you might find more information to add into your spidergram. It's just one way of organizing your research. Here I've given you the front and the back and the contents pages of each of these books. Just in case you're struggling to know where to begin, you might want to spend a bit of time reading the blurb on the back of each book and have a look at the contents page. It might give you some guidance of where to start doing your own research. So here is the back cover of Dangerous Animals and the contents page. Here is the back cover and the contents page for Under the Sea. Here is the back cover and the contents page for the book about weather. And if this is your chosen book, you might want to pause the video and spend a bit of time reading it and thinking about what's here. And finally, here's the back cover of the solar system and the contents page. Hopefully that will give you a bit of a help to know where to start completing your research. Remember, at this point, you are just writing notes. I wouldn't expect you to start writing sentences or paragraphs. Be careful what you take from the internet or the book that you're looking in. You do need to be able to understand what you write down. So if it's really complicated information that you don't really understand, don't just copy it from the internet. Keep it nice and simple. Remember, these books are aimed at younger children. Um, the better your research, the more detailed your spidergram, the easier the rest of the week will be because you're going to use this information tomorrow and on Friday to write your own non-chronological reports, your own page for these information books. So the more time you spend on this today, the better, the easier your writing will be tomorrow. Good luck and I will see you soon.